World War II was ending in the shadow of the Holocaust, yet Jewish people in America were not considered equal. Jews in this country um, woke up one morning to realize uh, that some of the prejudices that they escaped uh, from Europe um, also exist here. Bess Meyerson, a beautiful woman and a graduate of Hunter College, was the only Jewish contestant in the 1945 Miss America pageant. Bess Meyerson was crowned the USA's first and only Jewish Miss America. Something interesting in Atlantic City, this couple, before the pageant, they ran up to her and they said, you have to win, you have to win, so you can show everyone we're not victims, we're not ugly, we can be beautiful, we can be victorious. And my mother was so taken aback by what they said. And then she realized when she walked down the uh, runway after she had won and she was in her cloak and her crown and had her scepter that all the Jews turned away from the runway and embraced each other because they were so thrilled for the Jews and uh, my mother said she realized at that moment she was a symbol. This was an iconic cultural moment. The symbol of American beauty was a Jew at a time when Jews could not even, in many places, get into colleges, get in footholds in various professions, including law firms in New York. When Bess Meyerson unexpectedly won the 1945 Miss America pageant, corporate sponsors withdrew their support in fear of promoting a Jew. Instead of acquiescing, Meyerson turned her derailed pageant tour into a battle against intolerance speaking out at schools and ADL rallies across the United States. She had tremendous empathy for what you call the underdog or the people who got the short end of every stick and who were discriminated against. And, you know, when she went out on her tour, there were signs, no dogs, no Jews. And I'm sure there were also signs, no dogs, no Negroes. And her message was very simple. You cannot be beautiful and hate. Very simple message. You want to be beautiful? If you hate, you'll never be beautiful. That passion continued. She was involved with us. She became part of our national leadership, and executive committee, and she continued to, to go on platforms and speak. 